So when you've got a rig that you can't easily manipulate because you can't see the controllers or whatever, then it's time to use the picker. So let's talk a little bit about how to get the most out of this plugin. The first thing you're going to want to do, if you don't already have it, is download the plugin from Anim School. And I'm going to assume that you can get this far on your own. But uh, here's something that may come in handy if you're working with multiple versions of Maya, like say if you're working in a studio that uses many different versions, or if you've got a lot of different versions of Maya working at home. The picker comes with many different cuts of the plugin based on what version of Maya you're using. So it helps to put all of the versions into one folder and then use this little script to call the plugin based on the active version of Maya. So let's do that right now. All right. So here we got the picker. Now you should always reference your rigs into the scene if you're going to be using the picker for animation. Let's reference a rig right now. The first thing that I want to do is create a background image for my picker. So I'm going to use the snipping tool. If you don't already have this pegged to your toolbar, you can just find it by going to the search menu and typing in snip. This is a really useful one, which most of you will probably already know about. All right, so let's grab that and let's save this somewhere into our rig directory. Save the image and I'll just pull it into the picker under picker, change the background. All right, now we're ready to start adding some buttons to the picker. Select your controllers in a row, one, two, three, like this. And then what you can do is right click in the picker and hit add many buttons. And then you can click and drag and lay them out just like that. You can see how that works. Uh, it's easy. You'll have to take some time laying out all of your control objects, but you put a little time into it up front and you'll save a lot of time in the long run. Let's say you got a rig where for some ass backwards reason they've separated the translate and rotate controllers into two separate objects like this example here. Let's give uh, Sanity a try and create one button for these two controllers. I'm going to select the two controllers and over here I'm going to go create add one button. And that's created one button that allows me to essentially treat uh, both of these objects as one, so I only have to select one thing instead of selecting two while you're animating. Similarly, you can group controllers into single buttons, say all the finger bones of one finger or the whole rig. Any selection set that you want to make uh, can become a single button easily by just selecting it and hitting add one button. And you'll notice that the single object controllers are squares, and the multi-object uh, buttons are round. So things are looking a little bit messy in my setup, uh, so let's explore some of these other options that we've got here. You can see that you can change the colors pretty easily, and if you want to move your buttons around, uh, just clicking on it will select the object. But if you want to mess with them, hold down Control, and then you can move your buttons around. Now I could hand align all of these, but there's a great option you've got in here. I'm going to select all these guys and open this one up and under buttons you see you've got uh, align horizontally, align vertically, and distribute. Uh, so these work pretty much as you'd expect them to work. The one thing that I should mention about this is that it has a tendency to bug up if you align buttons and then immediately undo. So if you align things uh, in the wrong direction, say I want to align vertically but I do horizontally instead, if I go up here and hit undo, see, I can't get it back. So it's a good idea to uh, save your picker layout every once in a while. It's real easy, just go to File, Save As. As long as we've got the uh, file menu open, let's run through some of the functions. So new, open, save as, and save, and rename tab, all pretty self-explanatory. Same deal with edit, copy, and paste. Uh, hide toolbox, this one hides this guy down here, uh, and you can bring it back if you want to. You can't hide the Anim School toolbar. Under the picker, you've got the change background. You can change the background image if you need to. Also, you've got change namespace. Now, this one is useful if you've got multiple rigs in your scene. You can use one picker for different rigs as long as all the control objects have the same name. So say I've got a version of my rig in here, and this one's not going to work because the namespace is wrong. 
I've actually updated this rig. So what I'm going to do is change the namespace. It's going to give you a list of all your references in the scene. So I'm just going to say he's not Malcolm. He's this version. And now the rig should work properly. Uh, setting the size and the color of the buttons is, is pretty easy. Just by clicking on them will only let you select them. But if you want to actually edit one of the buttons, it's control click. Then you can drag it around. You can pan and zoom around the picker just like any other panel. And if you want to center the view, just hit F to frame it. For me, the best thing about the picker is it's a quick and easy way to create control panels. If you do any UI building, you know what a pain in the ass it is to build nice UIs with mail scripting. Well, with the Anim School Picker, while it won't let you drop in things like sliders or panel views, it is a very quick way to make custom command buttons. Like, take a look at some of the useful scripts that come with the Malcolm rig. You've got uh, IK to FK buttons here, and you've got reset it, reset your transforms, reset your attributes. It's good stuff. You can use versions of these scripts in your own setup. You can right click on it and go edit command button. And then you've got some really good examples of some useful mail scripts that you can use in your own rigs. So that's the Anim School Picker. If you don't have it, get it. Uh, the free Malcolm rig comes with its own picker, which is full of useful scripts. Check it out. And as always, keep checking back for more tips and tutorials. I'll see